Valley of the Camels or Wadi al-Gemal south of Mersa Alam the most aesthetic valley in the region with abundant vegetation and wildlife and a vivid history of nomadic settlers and ancient civilizations crisscrossing its winding routes. On the way to this unique national park, many natural and historic sites can be visited, including emerald mines, which is surrounded with high mountains that safeguard this marvelous place for its most rich treasures, or Sikit Temple. The temple dates back to the Ptolemaic era as Romans discovered the place and extracted from it emeralds and built houses to mine workers. They discovered at the greatness and richness of the place. <laughs> The environmental researcher Mr. Mohammed Aid said the Roman temple is considered one of the most important monuments found in Wadi Gemal National Park and the whole Egypt as it reflects a history do not know or know little about it which the first Ptolemaic era that witnessed the Roman civilization one of the most important civilizations that gave a big concern to mines and the extraction of metal resources in the eastern desert. They lived in this valley, which is called Wadi Sikit. Mr. Aid also said the Roman village has been established with the aim of searching emeralds and other metal resources found in the area. The houses of the Roman era, that, as we can notice, that the small houses were allocated to mine workers, while the bigger houses were specialized to supervisors and high-ranking officials. Unfortunately, the place has been exposed to floods and other natural and environmental effects, causing an erosion of some of its parts or a ruining. اسمي سعد منصور علي من محمية وادي الجمال وطبعا أنا من السكان المحليين في المنطقة فبتجينا بعثة هولندية ب... Mr. Saud Nasser is a resident of Wadi Gemal Natural Park who says the Dutch started its work in restoring the Roman temple and other monuments in the place that date back to the Roman Empire as fear has grown that the temple may collapse after one of its columns had already fallen. Many people had shared in the restoration process and he was one of those people. The ancient sites which were used for hundreds of years exhibit a wealth of antiquities ranging from roads to watering stations, outposts, residential settlements, temples and others. The ancients have developed techniques which are suitable for the desert environment. Nowadays we have reintroduced their architecture and combined it with some of the local architecture. This is Abdir Hussein reporting for the Nile Cruise. Thank you.